Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Today's video is the ultimate Harry Potter tag. I was tagged by the incredible Emily Wren Novel Novels. I'm going to link her channel below and if I can find the original creator of this tag I'll link them below as well. And there's quite a number of questions to get to so let's just jump right on into this. Now I haven't really thought about any of these the questions. I just wrote them down and thought I would wing it because you know it's Harry Potter and I probably have an opinion about something or another. So underneath the general criteria it says favorite book. My uh, favorite book is Order of the Phoenix. Um, least favorite book I would have to say Chamber of Secrets. I know it's a lot of people's favorites, but um, out of the seven, yeah. Anyway, favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Favorite movie is Order of the Phoenix. I think there's a trend happening here. Uh, least favorite movie. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Or um, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Probably leaning closer to that one at this point in uh, time, but yeah. Ooh, favorite quote. Oh my goodness, can I remember that quote? Oh my goodness, I don't think I remember the exact quote, but it was the one that Dumbledore said about turning off the lights. I'm going to find that and be right back. I'm back. Um, I cannot believe I forgot this quote, but Dumbledore says, happiness can be found even in the darkest times if one only remembers to turn on the lights. Loved, loved that quote. Anyway, that's that. I can't believe, still can't believe I forgot that one. Then we're going to go on to the section that's characters, and it says, favorite Weasley. Mm -hmm. I've asked you guys, so now it's my turn. Um, hmm, that is definitely a tough question because they all have something. Hmm. Uh, Molly? Molly? I like Molly. She's a good character. She's strong and she's a woman. But Arthur makes me laugh. And the kids are the kids. Fred and George are funny. I'm going to go with Molly. I'm going to go Molly. Because, you know, she had to take care of all those kids. And yeah. Uh, favorite female character. Favorite female character. There's so many of them. Um, Luna? I'm going to go with Luna Lovegood. Favorite villain? I'm going to say Umbridge. Yes, yes, yes. Stop screaming at me. I know we all hate her, but as a character, she is definitely the ultimate villain character because she seems so sweet and then she is not she's the worst kind of person you could think of so i'm gonna go with that favorite male character hmm snape he's my favorite i don't have to think about that i know i just went mm, but we all know snape is my favorite favorite professor that would be McGonagall. Now we're into the would rather section. So, uh, A, wash Snape's hair, or B, spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself. A, wash Snape's hair, you get it over with, it takes the shortest amount of time, and personally, <laughs> Lockhart. I don't think I could sit in a room with Lockhart for very long at all. He's not one of my favorites. Huh. 
yeah, I, I would get really, really annoyed if I had to be in the same room, room as him. Okay, dual, A, an elated Bellatrix, or B, an angry Molly? Well, I don't want to be on the end of an angry Molly, so I'm going to say an elated Bellatrix. Travel to Hogwarts via A, Hogwarts Express, or B, flying car? Well, no doubt, Hogwarts Express, because there's so much more fun on the Hogwarts Express, and it's a train. The flying car, you're in there with, you know, Ron and a couple other people, maybe, maybe. No, I would have too much fun on the Hogwarts Express, and I would not want to give up that fun at all. Okay, the next one is A, kiss Voldemort, or B, give Umbridge a bubble bath. Well, first of all, ew to both of them, but mm, duh, I'd rather kiss Voldemort because you can make it like a quick peck and that's that and you're done. But Umbridge, giving her a bubble bath would take way too much time and I'd be scarred for life. So, yeah, mind you, I'd probably be scarred for life kissing Voldemort too, but the lesser of two evils, Voldemort. Then there's A, ride a hippogriff, or B, ride a firebolt. Um, hippogriff, you can ride a broom anytime you want to. And, you know, I've been to Universal Studios, so technically I've ridden a broom. So, yeah, hippogriff. Plus, I love Buckbeak. Okay, book to movie adaptation is the next section. Is there a character you felt differently about in the movies versus the books? Yes. Ginny. I know. I know people love Ginny. I know it. But she really annoyed me in the movies. I think there was so much more to Ginny. And in the book, she's so much more. And in the movies, it just fell short. Okay, is there a movie you prefer instead of the book? No. Do I need to say more? Not really, but I'm going to because, you know, I like to talk. Um, there is so much more detail in the books than in the movies. And I mean, if you didn't watch, if you didn't read the books before you watched the movie, you didn't understand half the stuff anyway, so, uh, hello, books. Um, okay. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? Michael Gambon. Gambon? 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 Yes. The second Dumbledore. Definitely. Without a doubt. I just think he brought so much more to Dumbledore. But then again, we got so much more of him. But anyway. Uh, your top thing, person or event, which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you the most? I don't know if I have one. There was a lot of little things that were left out in the movies but didn't really annoy me yeah sorry that's what I'm gonna say to that I don't know the movies were the movies and the books were the books so I kind of don't they're each its own different little entity I'm going to say nothing to that one. Mind you, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, um, Winky. Winky. She was funny. And she, yeah, she was a great character. And they cut her out of everything. <sighs> Winky drunk. That was fun. 
Yeah. Okay. I have an answer to that. Winky. And everything that's associated with her. Because that would have been a great addition to the, the movies. Wow, do I change my mind really fast, don't I? Hmm. Maybe we should have a discussion about Harry Potter and then God knows what's going to come out of this mind. Um, if you could remake any of the Potter movies, which would it be? Number six, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, since it's my least favorite. There's a lot of stuff I think that was missing out of that one. Okay, now we're on to the Hogwarts section, and it says, which house was your first gut feeling you would be a part of? Okay, did I read that one right? Which house was your first gut feeling you would be a part of? Um, yeah, I don't, as you can tell by me answering some of these questions, I don't know. I don't do that. Um, I just kind of take the test. I took the test and went, let's see what would happen. So I didn't even have anything going into uh, what I would thought would be my house before I got sorted. Which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore or another online sorting quiz? I did the Pottermore quiz and I was sorted into Slytherin. Yes, I know a few people have commented recently to me in the last few months. Um, they couldn't believe that I'm a Slytherin. So, I don't know. But Slytherin I am. I am a Slytherin and I am proud of it. Which class would you, would be your favorite? Um, potions would be definitely my favorite class. Which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? Hmm. Stupefy would be nice. You know, you can stun somebody when they're driving you crazy or they're just annoying you. Or Alohomora, because then you could get into locked doors. That would be fun too. A little crazy. A little adventurous. A little let's get into trouble, but still awesome. If you lost your key, you could get in. Which character do you think... Which character... These questions are written very weird, sorry. Which character at Hogwarts do you think you'd instantly become best friends with? Neville. Neville Longbottom. Neville Longbottom. Yes. 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 There's no other ones. He's... Yeah. Okay. okay, we're on to miscellaneous now. If you could own one of the three Hallows, which would it be? Invisibility Cloak, because... Who would want any of the other ones? I don't want the Elder Wand because uh, I don't want power. Um, I don't want the uh, Resurrection Stone because I don't want to resurrect people from the dead because they really aren't themselves and they're probably in a better place as it is. So it would have to be the Invisibility Cloak because then <laughs> We could all spy on people. That would be fun. But, you know, yeah, fun, adventurous. It goes with the other one. Hmm. Maybe we should put them all together. Try something interesting. Okay. <laughs> Is there any aspect of the books you'd want to change? No. Those are her stories. I enjoy them. I like them. I read them all the time. I think I read them almost every year, give or take. And yeah, no. 
favorite marauder? Uh, Lupin. He's my favorite. Peter Pettigrew. No. no. James Potter. Nah. Sirius Black. Eh, maybe. No. Out of the four, Lupin. Lupin. If you could bring one character back to life, who would it be? <laughs> um, just one? There's so many of them. Um, can I use Lupin again? His son needs him. I think Harry needs him. Yeah, I would bring Lupin back. Because he's a kind soul and yeah. Um, hollows or horcruxes? Um, hollows. Hollows? Hollows? Hollows. Hallows. 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 Uh, I, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be filming at night because this is what happens after a long day at work. But anyway, that was all the questions in this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a carefree kind of tag uh, that just went off the cuff of my head. So it is now Harry Potter trivia time. So we're going to do the answer to yesterday's question first. It was day 17 yesterday. And the question was, what name does Hermione give when caught by the Snatchers? And that is Penelope Clearwater. And yes, we all remember that scene in the movie. So yes, and today is day 18 and it is time to open that box. Oh, we have another bell. In this box and here goes uh, today's question okay which member of the order is killed during the escape from a private drive I'll read it again which member of the order is killed during the escape from private drive it's gonna be interesting to see who gets the answer correct on this one. And of course we have our bell. You know, we gotta put it in there for all those people who are not Harry Potter fans. And you don't have to be a Harry Potter fan to be subscribed and watching this channel. So let's see, what will we do today? Yeah, name your favorite cartoon character. And then if you can put down a little happy face emoji. You know, a happy face, a cat face emoji. Just a happy one. Brighten up our days. Favorite cartoon character. And there's a lot of the ones that I can think of. So I hope you enjoy that part of the quiz. I hope you enjoyed this tag as well. I'm not going to tag anybody because um, everybody's done it already. And yes, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and fancy subscribing, please press that subscribe button. And I will see you again tomorrow.